Hey guys, it's Dragon Lee here, back with another video. And in today's video, we are going to be discussing creature dying. Not like a dead creature, like coloring a creature. Um, I have gotten a lot of people, um, mostly on Discord, um, some people on YouTube, and they've asked, oh my gosh, how do you dye your character? How do you dye your dino? All these colors, some people think they're mutations, but no, they're not mutations. And today I'm going to teach you how I dye my creatures because it seems to be a very popular request within um, the community that I'm in. So without further ado, let's get into it. So I would like to start off with, first of all, you have to get to know your creature. Um, right here, this is the Giga, if you have not already known. I have dyed it blue on the top, green at the bottom, and it should be purple down here, but since it's a bit dark outside, you can think that it's blue, green, and blue. Um, basically, um, you have to know how many color regions they have, and you have to know what colors go together, what colors don't go together, etc. Um, so the Giga here has three color regions, as I said, I think. Um, and I think you can dye two of them, I think. Three of them, maybe, depending on how much potent dust you use. Once you know that, all you have to do basically is get the potent dust, which I will d show you how to get in a second. Uh, and you have to press, press remote use inside of the creature's inventory and it'll start dying at the color that you dye the potent dust. So, um, in my inventory, I've been saving um, amber for something, but I guess I could spare one amber. Um, there's two ways to get potent dust, the mortar and pestle and the industrial grinder. I used to have an industrial grinder, but sadly, it's ripped now. Um, so today I'm going to be using the mortar and pestle. Um, all you have to do is click on your ancient amber and the mortar and pestle and press crush. And you can look in your inventory. Now I have two potent dust. Now what we're going to do is we're going to find what I like to call and everyone likes to call dye. So I think I have some in the material vaults. Yes, I have a green. I don't mind dyeing something green. All you have to do is take the dye, press and hold and drag and anything that shows up green you can die so you're just gonna drag and drop onto the potent dust and now you have green potent dust and you, you just have to remote use on a creature um i would like to also say something these griffins up there are dyed this griffin here is dyed and and these kangaroos and stuff are dyed as well um the reason they're dyed so um, colorfully is because I dyed them when they were still babies because actually it doesn't take that much potent dust around one or two to make it very, very vibrant colored when it's a baby. And that is a very, very nice feature. So um, let's see if I have any sort of creature that I can breed before I have a fertilized egg um, in here. Megalosaurus, Megalosaurus egg. Let's use that because I don't think it will take that long to hatch. Um, let's dry, uh, drop that down here. Wait one minute, I will bring you guys back when it's hatched. A few moments later. All right, guys, this beautiful Megalosaurus has hatched. Look at how beautiful this thing is. I'm just gonna claim her up. That's amazing, we got a female. Her colors are pretty cool, uh, no mu- one mutation? Hmm, is that a color mutation? Doesn't look like it, so we're going to dye this dino. I don't know guys, I don't know if this is color mute or not, um, let me just- We're just gonna check if this is mutated, because if it is, then I don't- color mutated, because if it is, then I don't want to dye it, so. I don't think it's color mutated and even if it is we could breed more to figure out but i don't think it is so we're just gonna dye it so um over here we have this big baby megalosaurus all you have to do is make sure that it has food in its inventory because yes they can knock out if you use too much potent dust stick the potent dust in its inventory and you have to press remote use item there will be a cooldown for the next time you can use it and if you come out 
you will see that your Megalosaurus is now dyed green. If I were to use this on um, a Megalosaurus that was not previously, um, that was not a baby, it would not um, die that much. Let's go up to my Megalosaurus named Shrek that I did tame and I did not, um, I used about 80 potent dust and it's not nearly as vibrant. So let's go over here. This is Shrek. I used about eight potent dust on him and he was previously green at the top and I used like eight on the bottom. So he is actually not as vibrant and that's because he was previously never a baby. So I do recommend um, using potent dust to dye only when you are breeding because that um, saves a lot of potent dust and you get a lot more color and a lot more from your potent dust. So definitely recommend that. Let's just see if it's ready. It is ready, remote use. Um, beautiful. Let's leave this dino like this. Um, I'm going to get more potent dust because I wanna show you how to mix colors. So once you have that color already, um, you can go into your um, dyes and grab more dye. So let's just quickly um, grab this dye and how about we do blue and green? That seems like it would go together. So some colors don't go together. I don't know. Um, you just have to look at the color wheel, see if you think they would stay as their original color because I know when I do blue and red, the red turns into a magenta. So sometimes the colors don't work, but we're just gonna check to see if this megalo will work with these colors. So, and some dinos like the Sarko, um, you can use one or two potent dust. I used my potent dust. I used one or two potent dust on my Sarkos, which are in my breeding pen. Oh my God, okay, well, let's not. Um, the only really dyeable color region is the bottom. The top scale is undyeable. It's not dyeable, you can't dye it at all, and I don't think. So even as a baby, so some color regions don't change at all. So as you can see, we have our completely green Megalosaurus. So let's take this out and dye it blue. We're roughly going to need one blue potent dust. So let's remote use. And now we have this color. And if you don't like the color, because you see the green turned into a blue because the blue overpowers the green. If you don't like this color, all you have to do is go back to the colors and keep trying. So yes, it can take a while to get the color that you want. And yes, it can take a lot of potent dust to experiment, but that's the whole point because, you know, you want um, the best dino possible. So um, yeah, it's definitely amber saving when you have a baby. Let's just put it that way. But you want to make sure that you have your colors tried out already. See, that looks pretty good, but we're gonna go one more. Um, see, it looks like teal almost in green. So you can just keep trying and you might land on something that you like. Like teal and green work together because teal and green are very similar. Blue and purple work together. Um, green and yellow work together. These are my griffins here. Um, and I used teal and red on this one and it actually surprisingly worked. It all really depends on um, the amount of potent dust and how dyeable the color regions are. So griffin color regions, the bottom fur, not very dyeable. It takes about like, I don't know, five, six to get this color when it's a baby, maybe roughly 30 or more when it's an adult. So yeah, it really just depends on the creature. Like unicorns don't even bother dying because they, they, you can't dye them at all. Uh, let's see, let's check on this baby. So roughly, let's just, get four more yeah okay so i'm just gonna go back back and forth back and forth my god okay we're going to do this until we get the perfect color that we want two hours later yes yes i like that so our megalosaurus is now green and yellow and the bottom color region i have discovered is not dyeable so don't even try but um yeah so looks like she is going to be green and yellow look how beautiful she is and when she grows up, she will have the same vibrance and color. So that's just amazing, amazing, amazing. Let's use a color bear, color bear on her. Okay, there. Um, perfect, perfect. That's how you dye creatures, guys. Um, you want to make sure that the creature is a baby, as I said before, because 
it will not work as well if it's not a baby. Let's see, um, let's click here. Gigabyte, um, gigabyte was not died as a baby. I don't think, and you can see that this color region is not as good because um, it took a lot of potent dust to dye this. Meanwhile, green goblin here, purple bottom, green belly-ish kind of middle, and blue top. This is beautiful. Um, took roughly eight to 10 potent dust to dye that. So yeah, um, yeah. That's basically the gist of it. I'm not going to get into it anymore because as soon as you get that down, it's simple. Once you get that down pat, it's literally simple and there's nothing to do. So yeah, all you have to do is just use potent dust the way you want. Make sure, that's another thing, is make sure when you're dying, make sure you do the first color of the that you want. So like, for example, that made no sense for the griffin here. Um, I wanted yellow butt and a little bit of a yellow um, under fur. So you have to make sure that you use yellow potent dust first. You have to make sure that the creature is completely yellow, completely yellow butt, completely yellow wings. And once that, use one of the other color, one of the other color, and it will dye the wings vibrant green because the wings are the most dyeable color. So that's what you want to do. Um, same for the Megalosaurus, make sure that it's a dyed completely green first, so the top part is dyed green, so you can use one yellow, and the green will stay the same. Make sure that you look into the colors, because some colors don't work, as we tried, green and blue did not work very well at all. Um, yeah. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. Of course, if you did enjoy, please do not forget to comment, like, and subscribe. If you're new here, welcome to the family. Um, yeah, so if you did make it this far, please comment Megalosaurus in the comments. I would love to see how many people actually watch the whole video. And also, um, if this did help you at all, please leave a thumbs up on this video because I really hope it could have helped someone out because there was a lot of people who were asking me. So yeah, um, again, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye. <laughs>